Welcome everybody to another video of Vinyl Addict. This is Chili and my pick for today is the MC5's Kick Out The Jams from 1969. Now before I get into this, please don't forget to hit the like button, comment on this video, share this video, and if you still haven't, please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell for updates. Okay, so with that out of the way, the MC5, this is their debut album. This is held as one of the... Uh, 500 greatest rock and roll albums of all time now uh, it's a live album for a debut and it's very raw very garagey and it came out in a time when we were just kind of finished with all that hippy dippy summer of love crap from california put the flower in your hair kind of shit and you know some bands are already coming out uh from the uk like black sabbath and Led Zeppelin, Deep Purple, and um, in America here, you know, we have MC5. Now, some of those other bands that were kind of heavily psychedelic and bluesy, like Cream and Janis Joplin's Big Brother and Holding Company, MC5 opened up for those guys, and MC5 would blow them away. I mean, MC5 would be asked to do more and more encores, um, which is which is weird, right? And... Um, <clears throat> You know, considering, you know, that Clapton is God and everything. But, however, the MC5's first album with Ramblin' Rose, Kick Out the Jams, Come Together, Rocket Reducer, Number 62, Rama Lama, Fa Fa Fa, Borderline, Motor City is Burning, I Want You Right Now, and Starship. Okay, so Kick Out the Jams is one of the famous songs on here. Most covered songs, even in, in the punk rock realm, that song has been covered over and over again. Rocket Reducer, number 62, Ram Lama, Fa Fa Fa, that has been covered many times. Uh, the great song that I like in here is I Want You Right Now, which is them covering them, and it's fucking heavy as fuck. And the last song, Starship, which is, uh, they kind of credit Sun Ra on it, because it has some kind of Sun Ra kind of things going on with it. It is just very kind of spaced out. It kind of is a weird album closure, but for the for the most sense, I mean, this the, out of their three albums that they put out, of course, nothing comes closer uh, to as far as raw energy as this album, Kick Out The Jams. And this is a uh, Rhino released legendary debut from Detroit's finest LPs cut from the original analog master. This is a red, white, and blue splatter vinyl recorded live at the Grande Ballroom. And I'll show you what this looks like. Here is the red, white, and blue splatter. They are very politically charged band led um, by producer or manager at the time, John Sinclair, who um, was part of the White Panther Party. He was the, uh, I guess, the leader of that. He kind of modeled his group from the Black Panther Party. And so they were kind of the same thing, but you know, um, and they, they both respected each other and they all both wanted the same thing. And he was also as manager of the band, so he would introduce them uh, to their live shows and he's I guess he was the one I don't know I think it was or is Rob saying kick out the jams motherfucker and that's like so iconic and so famous and um, this is it MC5 you know if you haven't heard it check it out it is uh, one of those albums of rock and roll that you got to have I'd say it's in the top 10 as far as greatest rock and roll albums ever. Proto-punk, very raw, very garagey. And leave me a comment below. What are your thoughts? And with that, I'll shut up. And I'll see you guys.